Grapes are the soft balls of juicy goodness that are pressed to make varieties of wine. Have you ever fantasized about plucking enormous bunches of delicious, sun-warmed Japanese grapes from your own backyard vines? Yummy! Japanese grapes are some of the best species in the world with the juicy Kyoho on sale for $50 to $60 per kilo. How do you grow them? It's simpler than you might think. In this video, we will discuss how grapes are grown and harvested efficiently. Japanese grapes come in all cool colors of irresistible juiciness. We have a number of great species to choose from like the Pitello Biano, Chine Musket, Yatomi Rosa, Kyoho, and the Benifuji. The first step to success is choosing the type of crop you want. Do you want to grow grapes to eat or to make wine? Step 1. Decide where to plant your grapes. In essence, you need a sizable, sunny open area with decent soil. If they're grown vertically on a trellis or arbor, grape vines require between 50 and 100 square feet per vine. If they're planting horizontally in rows, they require a space of around 8 feet. In addition, 7 to 8 hours daily of direct sunlight. They can grow in a variety of soils, but they do best in rich, organic, well-drained soil. The soil must have been thoroughly blended with compost or another soil conditioner. The presence of air circulation on all sides protects against fungi-related illnesses like powdery mildew. Choose whichever species would be appropriate for that climate. While some species do better in temperate climates, some do better in heat. For advice on the best types for your specific needs and location, speak with your neighborhood independent garden center. Just make sure you plant your grapevine properly. Plant your grapevine properly. Table grapes don't require a complex support structure. However, getting them up into a trellis so you can easily prune and harvest them is a smart idea. Wine grapes will need a horizontal support system that allows you to train them and provides them with the support they require. You can plant your grapevines in the early winter in places with mild winters. It is better to wait till the beginning of spring in colder areas. Vine roots grow deeply, as much as 15 feet. So dig a planting hole that is about 2 feet deep and wide and add compost to it. So what size vineyard should be planted? Table grapes that are mature can yield 15 to 30 pounds per vine. Perhaps only a few vines should be planted since some grapes like the Kyoho could grow up to the size of a golf ball. About 12 pounds of mature wine grapes are produced each vine, and it takes 40 pounds to produce 12 bottles. You will want a larger number of vines if you intend to make wine. Maintain and prune your vines. On growth that is a year old, grapes bear fruit. Because of this, it's crucial to follow a pruning schedule to get rid of the old growth and encourage the growth of new growth. Not trimming firmly enough is the most common error while pruning grapes. You will really be removing more plant material than you are leaving behind once a grapevine has grown to full maturity. The rearing of grapes can be done in a few different methods. This depends on the objectives for your garden and the support structure you are thinking of implementing. There is the traditional system of two wires strung between posts known as the wine yard style. This has the advantage of keeping your grapes in an accessible location for harvesting. Only a small area is needed, as long as a wall or fence. This technique uses a single central stem and a cane that is a year old with roughly 8 buds spreading out horizontally on each wire. There is also the use of pergola or trellis. This is a wonderful method to incorporate culinary plants in a decorative fashion. Grapes can be used to cover pergolas with temporary shade or to be trained onto arches. How pleasant it would be to grab a snack while goofing off on your porch. Here are comprehensive instructions on how to train and prune grapes on a pergola. If you are enjoying this video, please leave a like and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our videos. In the late winter or early spring, that's when you prune your grapes. There should be just two things left on your grapevine after pruning is complete. A permanent main trunk or trunks and growth that is a year old. 
You won't want to keep all the year-old growth. That might just be too much. Remove older branches that are no longer needed. Then thin out and trim the year-old wood. A branch should have two to eight buds left on it. To trim up the vines, pruning can be done in the summer, particularly if you see that they are performing a little wilder than you prefer. So in order to prevent powdery mildew, thinning can also assist the fruit receive more sunlight and more ventilation. If the fruit appears to be growing in a lot of shade, you may also try to thin it out. But if you don't, the grapes are put at risk of infection. The most typical disease affecting grapes is powdery mildew. By increasing airflow and periodically spraying in the spring, it can be managed. Facing bird trouble? Consider using netting to cover. It's also important to cover the grapes with a paper hat to prevent rain and direct sunlight since they are easily bruised and damaged. Imagine having a great deal of damaged vines of Benefuji that's worth $100 per kilo. To make sure they grow so well, every now and then, feed your grapes. Generally speaking, grape vines don't need a lot of fertilizer, so use it sparingly. Apply 8 to 10 ounces of 10-10-10 or 10-20-20 fertilizer in the early spring. Early in the spring, spread a layer of superior compost over the base of your grape plants. This can frequently give the earth the precise nutrients it needs to support the growth and yearly production of your grapes. The Japanese grape berry's red, lustrous fruit, which is packed with vitamin C, resembles our familiar blackberries or raspberries in appearance. Although the flavors are very different, it can significantly improve the fruits in our gardens. The beautiful part is that the Japanese grape berry self-pollinates, so you don't even need to plant many little plants. This plant is simple to plant on its own. So how should you go about it, or what should you watch out for? To cultivate the Japanese grape, pick a place that is moderately sunny to partly shaded. It also benefits from a humus-rich, potentially calcareous soil at its site, which you can improve before planting with a lot of compost. Here's a bonus! It has been discovered that pairing the Japanese grape with Lily of the Valley plantings greatly boosts their summer fruit yield. But due to their rapid growth-induced spread, the space between each plant should be around 1.5 meters. As a result, you must piece by piece attach the Japanese grape berries, which can grow up to 3 meters in length, to a climbing frame. Plants also make lovely decorations for garden arches, particularly because you have a lovely garden season and a lovely plant dress from the flower to the fruit. For Japanese grape maintenance, remove stray shoots. The unusual-looking bloom buds of the Japanese grape berry add a really special touch of exotic beauty to any garden. Particularly since each bud's bright red bristles instantly irritate everyone's eyes before they bloom into white blooms in June. However, you should always remove the thrilling game rods in the fall. That's October to November. The gathered rods still hold true in this regard. One benefit of growing a Japanese grape in your own yard is that, in our latitudes, pests rarely attack them. The cause of this is a gooey secretion that the plant produces and keeps insects away by excreting the plant itself. The plant has to be watered frequently during the summer, especially in the morning and at night, especially if it is to thrive in a region that receives a lot of sunlight. The plant of the genius of the rose family is also very thankful for one or the other fertilizer, especially in the spring, to the creation of fruits. You should always use a specialized berry fertilizer anytime you fertilize the berries. Japanese grapes are picked when the red fruits have a rich, wine-like flavor in the range of acidity, and you can harvest the Japanese grapes from the second year of planting, from the middle of July to the beginning of September. But this depends on the weather. The fruit production of a well-kept plant is between 3 and 4 kilograms every season. Freshly plucked fruits can be eaten, but watch out for thorns. You can also use the berries to make jam, juice, or jelly. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more amazing videos. See you on the next one. Until then, bye.